Yeah, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, what a difference a drop of rain makes. Yes. We just had a few showers before my uh, main video and we talked about the leaves on here. They're slowly getting back to normal now and even the strawberries have recovered. We've had enough rain but not enough or too much to make the strawberries uh, go rotten. With it being cooler as well we're getting the wind but the plants are uh, loving it. Potatoes are doing extremely well and my gravity fed rainwater wick guttering system has settled down now and literally the rain's falling on top of the barrel and topping it up you can see the moisture right at the top so I'm hoping it doesn't affect uh, the melon but the celery will love it and again the yellow uh, courgette zucchini I've heaped that up and that doesn't look as wet so hopefully it'll be okay I'm thinking now that the uh, single wick instead of the bent over wick so the rain falls on there and drops in here and I'm happy to say uh, it's staying a lot fuller in my next video on Wednesday I found some more compost that's all I'm going to say but if you want to guess how many litres I've found put it in the comments great, great vine looks a lot better and the sunflowers well since the rain come so the rain falls down into there, drips down, it's narrow at the bottom and it always stays moist anyway. But look at the uh, volunteers that the mice planted for me. They're doing really well. And uh, to give you some sort of idea, they're probably three to four foot now. And the smallest one's probably the one that's uh, supposed to be the tallest in the container but all the dahlias that I oh, I planted them and I've left them in the ground uh, all the dahlias are uh, have come up I've got a funny feeling there's one under there whoops and the jobs for June I've got to finish this support off with the straps and some uh, old scrap timber matches up now uh, with that Let's say the rhubarb the leaves are designed so that all the rain drops there and then trickles down to where it's needed that's why we must make sure when we pull the rhubarb we pull it and don't cut it but lots and lots of uh, fresh growth on the uh, raspberries and it won't be long before the uh, blackberries are ready i've got this one uh, complete that's all done We've had a good go at weeding. We've got the uh, volunteer poppies there. I've left all these volunteers in wherever they grow. The new rainwater collection system on the manure runoff bins has just over half filled these drums. I think they're probably at three quarters. So this next lot of rain should top it up nicely so much extra fruit uh, with that rain that we had so hopefully we'll have the rain and then it'll drop off and these fruits uh, will ripen and not spoil and i'll try and beat the blackbirds and pigeons as we all know we will continue to keep weeding i put all my weeds in the middle on the paths they can rot down and add to it i was having to water the blueberries because they didn't look very uh, very good but now uh, they're uh, filling out nicely with this uh, little bit of moisture. Not sure whether that'll ever recover. That one's still surviving. But this year it's fully laden. They're the uh, black currants. These are the red currants. We're not short of fruit. Definitely not short. 
and then wow look at these white currants go on I'll try one excuse me Ooh, they ain't far off ready and we spoke about this before there is a baby ladybird and uh, I won't move that leaf but these leaves under here were well there's another one they are very friendly I hope they don't drop off but I haven't had to spray these because they've done the job for me that branch is really big laden and we've gone to the uh, gooseberries the goose gogs and there's all the weeds we've had to pull out it's been uh, really really busy with weeds and this will get its second lot of comfrey it's had plenty of rain water it's had one lot of comfrey and we'll give it another lot of comfrey now or maybe just wait till this we've had this rain but this is just one plant originally absolutely laden again that rain has absolutely lushed everything up everything looks uh, really fresh and ready to go I don't think I'll ever split this I think I'll just let it keep growing and growing the biggest problem is the bits that grow through the uh, the net I do sacrifice a few of them because when we pull them out some of them pop off another job for June is to get some more of these sacrificial uh, boards on using the uh, bottle tops instead of uh, washers it makes a better job gives us a, a bigger gap because if I do get a load of wood chips what I don't want to do is bury those boards sacrificial board is absolutely ideal I can't say any more about the square foot gardening uh, unfortunately this weather is making a few things go to seed child to go in there but I'll just hack it down again trailing tomatoes poor old hashtag tomorrow tomato in a bottle hey don't rate the wind so we've got some bull's blood beetroot there to go in I've got this New Zealand spinach that somebody's recommended I use in a container to trail down and that's my third successional sowing of onions 100% celery put that on top just to help blanch it Swedes gone mad I'm hoping they don't overshadow the sweet corn constantly having to bend the leaves down but we should get some nice Swedes hopefully these peas are recovering after the pigeons have been having their fill and uh, they're definitely Kurobi must get these other beetroots out as they're going to be too big strange as some of the sweet corn do uh, better than others but these beds are fresh they've had all this material put in these are the uh, crown prints from from uh, Kelly that one seems to be doing better than that one the underground worm farms I've got to do that give them a feed so I'll be doing a separate video on that these peas are climbing well and uh, these uh, two here are from Bill and Val these two previously were from John and uh, I've already had a nibble on one of these it was only uh, it was only about that long but I couldn't I couldn't help myself see I'm tempted again I'll let it get a little bit bigger but they're not lovely absolutely gorgeous
this year I'm trying to spray with neem oil but I'd still had to put the netting on as shade and to stop the uh, pigeons landing I haven't found any slug damage yet so we can't tell whether this netting we've put there is helping or not some of the giants Brussels and hopefully we may even get a cauliflower this year my first ever decent cauliflower again trailing tomatoes in the pots I've moved them now away from the sides potatoes in the permanent bed my intentions there to hand dig down with the old fingers pull a few spuds out as many as we want and leave the rest in to grow next year <laughs> some of these big onions they, that, they were my rejects <laughs> oh dear it's getting bigger than the one that I've pampered and loved a lot of these have gone to seed and again here are the giants again the same ones we've just seen and uh, is it worth pampering them I hope me dad can like those he does like the Kelsey and uh, they're doing really well there's none of these here going to seed these were started off as sets over winter but uh, for five pound a packet of these giant uh, Peter Glazebrook seeds if there's an, uh, a nice onion in the store all right we'll be away but can't understand why that's variegated these look fresh nice drop of rain bit of breeze we lost one in the heat all the uh, bottle tops have been taken off now so these can get uh, a little bit of fresh air and water but, uh, I haven't done as bad as I thought these were the ones I'm, I did on my birthday or just before and I've opened this bed up this one uh, see if we can get some moisture into it it's doing okay nice fine soil and I've just noticed that we've got some flowers on uh, this variety so where's that it's coming from that side and uh, that's the purple one from uh, plot one that we found this roof space has now completely filled the barrel there I've moved it over with a bucket and there's a little bit in there so that's all good volunteer sunflower it was trying to get out over there so I've put a piece of wood on it trying to encourage it out to see if uh, we can get it to uh, get a nice big head interesting to see what it comes out at and leggy tomatoes if you didn't see that video it's the one previous to this one this one looked a little bit sad but transplant shock but oh gum not a lot of you really like what I did to those but hey ho uh, one of William Coleman's garlic red Russian is just throwing up a scape now so guys do I need to uh, get these out of the ground especially with how wet it's been scapes have been up and I didn't realize I was only cutting the tops off I didn't realize you could eat the lot what a waste anyway here's the uh, that new kale that'll low at that with added green or white fly he don't mind blend it up and this bed will be coming out when the garlic's gone as well and we'll extend these boxes around then broad beans this is the one I sprayed with the rhubarb leaf tea insecticide and it's got no worse I'm not saying this dead but this was cut off at the top anyway but we still got a little bit on the plants but the smell must have put every, all the others off because everything else is clean as a whistle I haven't even got anything on uh, the uh, new shoots what we got there is that just the start that's just the start of them 
good day. Another volunteer sunflowers. Celery, up a periscope, and the Jerusalem fartichokes. We're supposed to pull or hoe the weeds while it's dry. And uh, as you can see there, ones that I've missed, they're coming back. But ideally it's done while it's dry. But the sooner we hoe them, there'll be even more to follow afterwards because it's so wet. And there's the giant onion that I've been pampering. Make good eating if it doesn't, uh, doesn't perform. I'm getting a bit behind on taking the side shoots out but everything in here other than the one telepathy cucumber is uh, doing okay pitter patter of the rain we do rain now it's Friday at the moment it's Friday evening it's going to rain till Saturday night Ah, hello Robocrop, where have you been? He threw a bit of a mardy because uh, I did ask the question on my Mars Hydro SP150 uh, grow light giveaway that I had to cancel, which he wasn't happy about, but this is Robocrop and that was the question, what's my name? Remember it? Uh, uh, looks like He's got something to tell me next Wednesday. Any clues? Mm. Intriguing. Anything to do with that compost find? Okay, we'll have to wait till Wednesday then. Uh, this is my uh, busy time of the year at work, so I'm not going to be watching as many videos. I will keep up with all the comments. I reply to every comment. Uh, if some of the comments are stacked under other comments, I don't get notifications for those, but I do try and check as much as I can. A lot of these onions were off Alan from the Dawn Chorus plot, and I think they're doing okay. It's whether they like the warmth that we had and then the cold, wet, windy. But never mind. We, the weather does always try us. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Ta-ra for now.